This is Team 3 in Henderson, and we have chose to do our nursing theorist presentation on Dr. Faye Glenn Abdella, who focuses on patient-centered nursing. In this presentation, we will be taking a deeper dive into Dr. Faye G. Abdella's life contributions to the practice of nursing, with an emphasis on the development of her theory. 21 Nursing Problems. Her theory transforms the focus from disease-specific to patient-centered care. We will also demonstrate how her theory can be applied to our nursing practice and today's healthcare system. Faye Adela was born on March 13, 1919 in New York and later moved to New Jersey with her family. In 1937, when Faye was 18 years old, a prominent event took place where there was an explosion of a German airship called the Hindenburg that took the lives of 36 people. Living close to Lakehurst, New Jersey, where the unfortunate event occurred, Faye and her brother were witnesses of the explosion. This signified a huge turning point in her life because it was in that moment where she decided that she would become a nurse so that she would be able to provide aid to those in need. In 1942, she received her nursing diploma from Fitkin Memorial Hospital School of Nursing, and soon after that, from 1942 to 1944, Faye studied chemistry at Rutgers University, but her education did not stop there. In 1947, she received her Master of Arts degree in Physiology at Columbia, and then finally in 1955, she also received her doctorate degree in Education, also from Columbia. In 1945, Faye accepted her first administrative nursing position at Yale, where she taught a class on the principles of nursing. In 1949, she then decided to join the Public Health Service, where she took her first assignment with a division of nursing that focused on research and studies. It was then where her interest in research grew and eventually moved on to become the first in her role as an educator to focus on research and theory. In 1949 to 1989, Faye was a commissioned officer in the U.S. Public Health Service while concurrently serving as chief nurse officer from 1970 to 1987. From 1982 to 1989, Faye also became the first nurse and the first woman to serve as a deputy surgeon general. Additionally, she became the first nurse to achieve rank of a two-star flag officer. After 40 years in the United States Public Health Service, Faye decided to retire. Following her retirement, she founded the Graduate School of Nursing at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences and served as the school's first dean. Over the course of her career, Faye has earned almost 90 professional and academic honors and has also received 11 honorary degrees, including the Allied Signal Award for her pioneering research in nursing. Previously mentioned, Faye Abdella took such an interest in research and is credited for introducing science research into nursing and patient care. In 1957, she initiated a research team that led to the development of the framework that we now know as progressive patient care. From this research, critical care patients were initially treated in the ICU, followed by transferring to immediate care and then home care. This model of allows providers or facilities to group patients according to their medical needs so that they can be placed in the most appropriate unit. Another innovation during her time includes her development of a classification system for patient-oriented records. She was one of the first to develop such a system that allowed for categorization of patients, which helped keep healthcare costs to a minimum. Her work laid down the foundation for the most widely used system known as the Diagnostic Related Groups, or DRGs, which is a standard coding system used by Medicare. Faye has authored more than 150 publications and has developed many educational materials in several areas of public health that includes hospice care, disabilities, violence, AIDS, alcoholism, and drug addiction. While Faye has made a wealth of contributions to the field of nursing, she is notably recognized for the development of her 21 nursing problems theory, which will be discussed further later in this presentation. Concerning nursing at the time the theory was developed, this time frame happens during the late 1940s to the 1960s. Nursing public image took on a heroic cast during World War II. Although the reality was, for most nurses, the work was incredibly demanding with poor working conditions. This caused severe shortages of nurses during the post-war period, as fewer women were willing to choose nursing as a career. The shortage of nurses threatened the delivery of health services to the public as well. 
Nursing failed to keep up economically with other occupations as few financial rewards were offered at the time. Hospital-based diploma programs and two-year programs in nursing became prevalent to mitigate those same shortages. Soon after, all nurses were provided with equal opportunities due to the removal of a system of racial and gender segregation involving nursing education and employment. Nurses became important to the organization of services during this time as they were grouping patients together by acuity and complexity in new critical care units. Healthcare and impacts that led to theory development. A modern intensive healthcare system emerged shortly after World War II, which demanded larger numbers of nurses to handle more complex and technical needs of patients. Most professions were either close to women or difficult for women to enter, leaving only teaching and nursing as the primary professions that allowed women to work during this time. Home care was also not widely accepted among the public, as evidenced by the definition of home care not being understood by the general public. Price of hospital care doubled and medical breakthroughs quickly emerged, which was prominent in the 1950s, quickly evolving health care at the time. Prices increased due to no external controls on the cost of medical therapies delivered or the resources consumed. This remained fiscally unrestrained up until the 1960s, as very few policymakers questioned the extra expenses in health care. Healthcare became inaccessible to many as health insurance became too expensive and many could not afford it. Abdella's 21 nursing problems theory was formulated as a scientific theory and differentiated between the nursing model and medical model in nursing education. According to 21 nursing problems theory by Nurse Labs, Abdella identified 21 problems laid out on the screen, which all relate back to maintaining or attaining physical, psychological, and social balance of patients. She also refers to the type of relationship between the nurse and the patients, and lastly, the common elements of patient care, such as their comfort or their emotional support while in the hospital. Meta paradigms map out general parameters of a scientific discipline and focus on scientific efforts. The word meta means with and paradigm means pattern, or a summary would be that it specifies the main or central concept of nursing. Abdella's patient-centered theory has four key concepts for her nursing meta paradigms. Number one is to focus on the patient as the primary recipient of care. Next is their wellness and well-being. Third is the nursing practice itself. And lastly is the patient's environments, including the internal and external. According to an article on nursingtheory.org, Abdella says that the nursing is both an art and a science, which is designed by intellectual competencies, attitudes, and technical skills of individual nurses into the ability and desire to help people cope with their health needs. So, how does this theory apply to the clinical practice of nursing? Here's an example of a clinical practice scenario. A patient comes in the emergency room and complains of daily migraines. The nurse and the patient engage in a conversation about migraine and stress. The patient states they recently lost their job and struggling financially. To practice patient-centered nursing, the nurse takes the patient's vital signs and performs an assessment. The nurse then offers support, discuss stress-relieving activities, and recommends a community center that provides counseling. Patient-centered nursing fosters meaningful relationships between the patient and the nurse to meet the mental and physical needs. Next, we will discuss on how this theory enhances human health and improves client outcomes. So, there are quite a lot of benefits in patient-centered theory. 
important aspects such as patient satisfaction, greater enablement, and better improvement in symptom burden can enhance overall human health. Patient-centered nursing can also improve client outcomes. When the patient values and preferences are prioritized, they engage more in treatments and recover faster. The patient will feel that they are being taken care of properly and all precautions have been implemented. After learning a little bit about Dr. Abdallah's history, theory, and education, we can now look at how does her patient-centered nursing theory apply to today's trend in healthcare system. Technology is currently the driving change and transforming today's healthcare. Patient-centered care now is meaning more of a personalized experience. With healthcare technology, doctors can diagnose disease early and minimizing the adverse effect of the disease. This is gonna help cater to the needs of each individual patient. Healthcare providers can now monitor patients' condition at the comfort of their homes. There are wearable healthcare devices that can transmit healthcare data 24-7 in real time. This also means that patient can have quicker access to care. Ultimately, this is going to help to reduce costs because treatments and intervention are going to be implemented in a much more timely manner. By minimizing the disease and adverse effects and able to deliver care quickly, the patient quality of care is going to be improved. At the end, technology can also allow for virtual visits and improve the step disparity because now we are able to connect service remotely to communities where otherwise those assets will not be able to reach them. One of the three examples of how technology can provide patient-centered care is telehealth visit. Telehealth medicine has grown dramatically, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic. Telehealth enhanced communication among clinicians, which is going to result in more efficient, higher quality, and less expensive care. The healthcare provider can help patients without an actual in-person office visit. Some of the things that telehealth can offer are remote monitoring service that helps track the health goals and manage chronic conditions such as diabetes, hyperpressure, and cholesterol. Telehealth can also provide post-surgical follow-up and telehealth can also prescribe online and offer mental health services such as online counseling and medication management. Provider can also review lab and go over results online with patients. Another way of reducing cost and time and improving quality of care is Online check-ins, which makes patients' lives easier across urgent care clinics by avoiding waiting in the waiting room when not feeling well and also being able to complete registration electronically at their comfort from their home. Improved medical equipment also helps reducing cost and improving quality of care. Some examples are 
artificial intelligence, the transformation happening in healthcare as a result of artificial intelligence, it's one of the most inspiring in 2022 and is becoming gradually effective at detecting disease, diagnosting them precisely and establish them early. Healthcare is anticipating to gradually integrate technologies enabled by artificial intelligence into patient care. Understanding insights of these tools is vital to successful development and adoption. Also, robotics in medicine. It's mainly used in the operating room, but it's also used in other areas of healthcare, such as rehabilitation and assisting living, as well as mRNA technology. Vaccines that use mRNA technology, such as new COVID-19 vaccines, have been in the spotlight lately. mRNA vaccines, which are highly effective, easy to produce and develop, are an alternative to traditional vaccines. Thank you. Dr. Faye Abdella is a celebrated theorist, military nurse, and leader in nursing research. Dr. Abdella is well known for developing the 21 nursing problems theory that has interrelated the concepts of health, nursing problems, and problem solving. We will use Abdella's patient-centered theory in our future practices by remembering that it promotes human decency, honors patients' preferences, and improves patient outcomes. Patient-centered nursing is personalized care. We are the patient's advocate and using Abdella's 21 typologies will help us be exceptional nurses and bring great care to our future patients.